Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Um, today's all about the Fed meeting today at 6pm UK time, uh, where we're going to be getting a statement from Janet Yellen, which uh, may or may not drop the word uh, patient from the rhetoric in regards to um, monetary policy and raising rates in the US. So traders begin to take uh, a, a position that it might be a kind of a half-hearted measure, as in they might remove the word patients, but uh, retain the fact that macro data needs to be in the um, in the correct kind of uh, state before they choose to raise rates, which would be more closer to uh, a September rate hike rather than June, which would be one of the earlier uh, months for this to happen. So we've seen a little bit of volatility yesterday following um, moves we saw on the dollar overnight. We're moving up a little bit again today. Um, most global markets are a little bit toppy right now. Um, and with the UK, you've got the, uh, the budget as well. So that should be relatively interesting uh, to get a bit of a flavor as to um, what the UK is going to have coming along for the next couple of uh, the next couple of months. So anyway, moving on to the US 30, you can see there at 17.895 remains the potential resistance. We're sandwiched in between two moving averages. You've got the 21, the 55 period moving average and the 21 period moving average, uh, whereas most of the technicals are relatively neutral. So um, could be range bound uh, until we get a break of either either direction just now. So moving on to the UK 100, you can see we've actually had a last couple of decent sessions. We had a good session yesterday, um, a failure to break higher already this morning, um, but it's just off ever so slightly. Um, could it also be capped by that 21 period SMA, a kind of a similar, um, a similar style to the US 30, where you're sandwiched in between the two moving averages with the uh, 67.71 being potential support and 69.06 being potential resistance. So moving on to Japan to five, it's still going from strength to strength. Um, Bank of Japan came out uh, yesterday, uh, Kuroda, uh, with a statement saying that they were still going to hold back on uh, some more of the uh, more hardcore stimulus. If they need to use it in the future, they, they will, but they'd rather not right now. And that's um, causing a little bit of upwards momentum and the Japan to do five people taking that as a signal that the Japanese economy is doing uh, that little bit better uh, and we are almost halfway now between potential support at 18648 and potential resistance at 2868 um, and still still going strong as dollar yen still it's unable to break through 121.80 but it is just getting that little bit closer so it's been around about 121.40 for the last couple of sessions in fact if we go ahead and have a look at dollar yen you can see exactly what i'm talking about it's just flattening out consolidation uh console consolidatory move uh, at 121.87. If the Fed comes out with a particularly bullish statement or hawkish statement tonight, you might see that breakout. Otherwise, you might see a little bit of a drift as we move that little bit lower. So many traders talking about crude oil West Texas right now. We broke through potential support at 43.30. Um, we had another break yesterday. Um, we are floating around uh, 42.50 right now. It's not been an unbelievable strong technical breakout, but it is a breakout non nonetheless. Yesterday, that's still like a you know a three or four percent move right there, uh, and the next potential support is um, at 35, uh, 30. So crude oil inventories are also due today. Um, so West Texas will be uh, in vogue today as ever. Gold will be waiting for the Fed statement as ever. Uh, moving down a little bit lower again, 11.37 is a potential support. Uh, long layer candles indicative of selling pressure. Gold just can't get a break right now. It all depends on, on the language utilized in the Fed statement tonight. Finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar has had its third day of gains, including today. But it's not looking as uh, as aggressive as it was yesterday. We could be just be getting a, a slight retracement before we start our move back down towards one spot zero two. As ever, depends what Janet Yellen comes out with today. And if we finish up with GBP USD, another move to the downside last night. So breaking through one spot 48.13 again. Longer term potential support is all the way down at one spot 42.43. If we do get any sort of retracement up to one spot 48.13, that could be an excuse either to sell if you think that uh, GBP USD is going to be under pressure, or if we break above that, you could target one spot 51.85. Um, but we do have that death cross on the moving averages to bear in mind as well. So economic data wise, we talked about, we've got the Bank of England minutes, it's not supposed to have anything that exciting. 
uh, unemployment claims uh, due as well at 9.30 and then you've got the crude oil inventories uh, due there at 2.30 because of the time difference and the FOMC statement at 6pm UK time again because of the time difference there and that's the one that everybody's going to be watching today uh, and it's all about the wording of the statement uh, will, they ha will they drop the word patience or not and will they tie into a specific metric of macro data um, coming out of the US or not? And that makes a big difference because obviously, apart from non-farm payrolls, the rest of the data has been very mixed at best. Fast forwarding on to Thursday, you've got employment claim data at 12.30 and then you've got the Philly Fed. Uh, and then on Friday, you've got German CPI and UK public finances and remember today is the budget in the UK um, so you should see some interesting moves in cable so keep your eye on the chart form as ever make insights probably going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next